Hi, my name is Linda Chung. I'm the master's degree coordinator here at uh, the Catholic University of Murcia in Spain in high performance sport, strength and conditioning. Okay, Kathy. <laughs> so um, what kind of curriculum do you teach? What kind of um, advice do you give to students, stuff like that? What's some of the hot topics in the field? So right now I'm teaching um, research methodology research methodology and uh, scientific principles of strength and conditioning. Uh, one of the things that uh, we do is educate um, strength and conditioning coaches or coaches in general with uh, a background in sports science um, to be familiar with the research aspects of our field. Uh, you gain a better understanding of how strength and power can be assessed um, using advanced technology available to us. Um, we have a range of equipment and instruments go coming from uh, the Bionics dynamometer to the um, uh, gas analysis uh, measuring uh, uh, your aerobic capacity, um, force platforms, so you get an idea of the impact forces that you do while running. Wow. Uh, we have bio me biomechanical instruments as well, uh, motion capture system uh, in 3D, as well as using um, encoders to measure how much uh, RM you can perform during. Oh wow! Yeah. So there's a lot of new things in the field, interesting things that well, y'all are actually, doing up there. Well, uh, actually, they're not quite new. They've always <laughs> existed. <laughs> it's just. Um, it's just it's not well known that you can actually have an academic uh, research, more of a science applied approach okay. and, in strength and conditioning. Okay, and so um, how did you become a teacher for the field? How did you get to where you are? Uh, well, I did my postdoctoral studies actually at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst um, in kinesiology. Uh, my background is actually in, in physiology, in my, uh, skeletal muscle physiology. Okay. I work with older adults and patients with multiple sclerosis, understanding the mechanisms or physiological mechanisms involved with uh, muscle weakness. Um, I came out here after doing my doctoral work uh, uh, with my husband, actually. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, at the time I wasn't... Uh, I was more interested in establishing myself here in a new country, in Spain, okay. and um, starting my family. Okay. And then just recently, actually, I'm fairly new here at uh, the Catholic University okay. uh, since April, uh, but they were looking for a native English speaker with a background in sports science okay. and to help run the English version program of the master's degree. This is actually uh, the first year it's been done here at UCAM, and okay. I'll just finished, uh, helped finish the year with them, the academic year with them, and I'll be running uh, the, the upcoming year. Okay, and the last thing I want to finish off with are just some quotes that you live by and kind of <laughs> the, anything off the top of your head that you... Quotes. If, if you don't have anything, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Well, perseverance. Mm. Don't give up. Uh, especially in the academic world, you're always going to have bumps in the road that might challenge you into thinking, why am I here? What mm -hmm. am I doing? Um, and it's all about your ultimate goal. If you're okay. willing to push through those um, challenges, and this is not just only in academia, in everyday life, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what is your ultimate desire? What will make you happy? Because mm -hmm. you have to be happy with what you do in okay. the end. But how to get there? figure that out and see if you're, you're willing to um, overcome some of those obstacles. Okay, well thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. So this is Kathy, or <laughs> Linda, Linda Chong <laughs> okay. uh, at Mercia University in uh, So this Spain. is the Catholic University yes. of Mercia. So okay, yeah. so, and so that concludes our interview. Thank, thank you. you.